Hey, it's Jeff here. Uh, we're from Rogue Element, so we got a bunch of rigs out here. We uh, joined you guys, uh, Rebel Entertainment, uh, to do this awesome overland trip. So appreciate you guys letting us join your awesome convoy. And here we have my 2021 Ram Power Wagon, uh, 2500, and it's it's pretty decked out. I've got like three iterations of this, and this is kind of the one if I'm solo or just like me and one kid or whatever. Me and my wife will kind of take this thing because it's got the skinny guy camper on it, which makes it kind of bougie <laughs> so this thing has everything that a travel trailer has except air conditioning i mean it has a toilet with a bidet it's got uh, a sink with hot water it has a shower setup it has a fridge in here uh it's got a stove a, a single burner stove so it has just about everything 36 gallons of water in the two tanks and then it's got a, a black tank so i can uh, you know drop everything off through a macerator because of the toilet so it's uh, fully set up with a uh, Red Arc Manager 30 system that uh, either recharges off the solar that's on the back panel. So it's facing up towards the sun when it's all put away. So it charges off of that to a 300 amp hour Renogy uh, lithium ion battery that lasts, gives me about five days of charge if I'm not like, you know, going crazy and filling up camera batteries and stuff like that. But if I'm just using just the, uh, the fridge is one of the fridge and the LED lights are basically the only thing that really pulls off of it when I'm when we're staying unless I'm using the heater it's got a Truma heater Truma fridge uh god what else does it have uh I think that's about it it's got a, a prototype roof rack and this is the prototype model to the skinny guy for the 6.4 6.5 beds um they've upgraded it since then but I'm doing some R&D and stuff for them it's been really fun for that whole thing as far as the truck, it's got a full Thurin 5, uh, Stage 5 suspension on it. King 3.0s in the front, King 2.5s in the back. Hellwig, Bigwig, Sway Bar because of all this extra weight. This thing wet is about 1,300 pounds. And technically, because of the soft suspension that comes in the Power Wagon, uh, it's only a about a 1,500 pound uh, payload. So it's not a lot. Um, it's not like the Cummins, it's like a 2,500 um, because of the softer springs. So I upgraded it with, uh, I've got the uh airlift uh full airbag suspension and we built it to be quick release with daystar bags so if i take this out and i'm just running like my smart cap which is usually what i have on it most of the time i pull the airbags i don't need it uh it's got a uh, frame mounted uh air compressor that's all it's all uh, done through bluetooth on my phone or i've got a wireless controller so which is nice because i can level out without having to put shit under my tires so it's kind of nice i have it down right now so it's not like completely taut but it looks the same so this is the solar panel here uh, it's a Renegy, i think it's a Renogy solar panel i don't recall what that is but so i can actually i can pull these pins i can drop this all the way back out and then it's facing up so i can get the sun when i'm at camp and then it gives me a little bit more of an awning which because my truck is so tall it actually works as an awning for me some of the other trucks I have to like duck under but this is the uh the system here in the back so this is the macerator for your dark tank and then tank heat if I uh, so like when I'm out like the first time I took this out it was negative 10 degrees and it was so cold so we ended up turning like the tank heater on and it heats everything down below here so nothing freezes um, which is pretty kick-ass floor drain this is how you like empty all your all your uh, uh, all your tanks that are in here like so your dark tanks and stuff like that and the cool thing is you can shower inside there's a uh, plug and the, the floor is concaved so you can actually shower inside and then you can empty the tank. Uh, it has its own separate tank in there. So if it's like cold outside. And then everything is heated through propane. Pretty cool little system. Uh, the only shitty part about this <laughs> is, uh, and they're aware of it, so I'm not uh, talking shit or anything, but I lose a lot of bed space as you can see. So I have to scoot everything under. Um, they've brought it up since then. I think it's about half as low now. So you can fit like a truck vault in or deck or whatever else in the drawer system this one can't fit any of them so i didn't do a ton of mods to these because they come with a pretty significant amount of torque everything that i need and the gas mileage isn't great you're going to trade a lot of that in when you go to a v8 so it's got a 6.4 hemi i'm pushing right around 500 horsepower in this 500 foot pounds of torque um just little mods here and there and then we added on top of that uh pedal commander which changed the whole way that the way this thing drives it's like it's more, probably my favorite mod to it uh, I've got front and rear chassis, unlimited bumpers, and then they're all outfitted with rigid lights. I've got rigid lights in the back, uh, and I still have more to put on. I just haven't got around to it. Um, then we've got the rigid yellow lights up here for like snow and, and dust, which work awesome. Uh, I've got a Switch Pro RC12, which is my panel for all my lights and accessories, and that's mounted up to an NH Overland bracket inside. And it's all a mess right now. We just haven't got around to really cleaning it up. 
Um, and then I'm running 67 Designs uh, system for like all my uh, all my gadgets up on top, which holds my Switch Pro panel, holds my cell phone, holds my GPS, which we use a lot. Uh, that's how we communicate with everybody out here. Since we haven't got around to getting a Starlink, and I can still text message my wife with no service, even when we're driving. So that's uh, that's good. 37-inch uh, BFGs on uh, Raceline wheels. Um, I think I've upgraded my drag link, my tie rod. Uh, these come with, you know, auto, they have front and rear lockers factory, disconnect front sway bar factory, and then we can manually disconnect the rear sway bar if we want to get crazy, but I don't do that with the skinny guy, it's too heavy, it feels like you're out in the ocean. But that's it, that's the, that's the power wagon, we call it the big pig. Nate Clausen, I work with Rogue Element Adventures, this is my 2021 Volkswagen Tiguan. This Tiguan was <clears throat> started off on the R-Line platform. Decided to go the overland route with it. This has a B2B fab um, amp camber correcting lift kit on it. It's an inch and a half lift kit plus an inch and a half additional spacers on the rear to give myself a total of two inches of lift. B these are the BFG Goodrich KO2 tires. They are 245-65R17. Gives me an additional one inch lift on there for a total of three and a half inches of lift altogether on the Tiguan. Awning is a Rhino Rack awning, Sunseeker. <clears throat> Just a simple awning to pulls out, give myself a little bit of shading when I need it. Go FSR, this is Evo 49 series tent, rooftop tent. It is pretty phenomenal. Um, I like it. Works really well during the summertime and it works really well during the wintertime. I have the ability to run a heater inside there if I need to. On the front, we also have the B2B Fab. They're the end sway bar, end link front conversions on the front side. Gives it a little more articulations on the front, as well as helps stabilize the front end for the trails. Same thing on the rear, we're running a prototype, testing those out right now to see how well they work before we put those into mass production. Front side of the Tiguan, if you guys want to follow me. You see it takes on a lot of damage here, but that's the purpose of the build of it. On the front we have 6 inch 360 series rigid lights with yellow amber covers on it. On the front side we've got the uh, Adapt Series 40 inch light bar. It is fully equipped with Jeep wheels. Instead of running a 5x112, we're running a 5x114.3 Jeep wheels and these are the Raceline Arrows. So all in all it's been a complete fun build, it's been challenging, but the ability to do it and by getting it out there doing it, it just proves the point that these Volkswagen Tiguan's are fully capable and it can just be just as much fun as all these other rigs. What's your favorite part about your rig? Favorite part of it, I think, is the uniqueness of it. Um, everybody's out building Toyotas, they're all building the Dodges, they're building you know, all the you know, popular vehicles, and this is not a popular vehicle by far. So the, the challenge of building it out and seeing the looks that it, it gets from people is just, <clears throat> to me, that's what I want to see. I want to get other people, you know, looking at it and going, hey, I could do that to my Volkswagen. So that's the whole purpose, and that's what I like the best about it. My name is Christopher Walker. I'm one half of CB Off-Road Adventures, and I drive a 2014 Toyota 4Runner named Duke. Sweet. So tell me about your uh, 4Runner. What do you got on it? Uh, my 4Runner definitely a lot of fun I got a decent suspension kit on it. I got an icon vehicle dynamic suspension kit on it to stage five um, I have this OVS 180 degree uh, awning which I could probably show you guys a little bit later it's pretty amazing um, we're out on the road pretty often and try to camp a lot so we even have this Yakima road shower up here that has about eight gallons of water in it so we can wash our hands and uh, take showers if we ever want to so it's really nice to actually have there and in the back here we got a, a rigged tire swing that holds our spare tire and then if we open this up we got probably my best feature the one I love the most we got a Dometic 65 DZ in here um, so it's essentially just a fridge swings out Open it up. Maybe have a cold Gatorade if you wanted to. Pretty amazing. We did a coast trip not too long ago for about 10 days and it was nice being able to have all our cold meats and stuff in here and actually cook uh, while on the road. Um, we do have just a kind of a built myself drawer system here. Usually we'll try to go ahead and cook on the top of here. Um, breakfast and dinners. And then underneath this platform we have all 
the needed stuff, little pots and pans, uh, some gas, some tools, just in case anything ever happens to the truck while on the road. So um, there is a sleeping platform here. We don't usually use the sleeping platform. We have dogs and we put the dogs back here and pull a trailer. But for this trip, um, we were gonna be doing a lot of trails in Moab. So I figured let's make sure that it's as capable as possible without a trailer. So we threw the sleeping um, pad back there. So other than that, little OEM plus subwoofer system. We've got some storage up on top for any of uh, recovery gear uh, that we might need. Uh, we got a Wii Boost that actually boosts your cell service when you're out kind of in the middle of nowhere. Some Max Tracks, just normal off-road stuff there. Um, SSO sliders. Um, and then we got some Rhythm side shooters up here. And then under the hood, we have a dual battery system and we have a 100 watt solar panel actually on the roof rack. So we're able to charge any sort of batteries, um, run the fridge, all that kind of good stuff. We got a Rago mount with uh, ARB compressor in here. And then we have an SSO hybrid bumper with a worn winch. So we're definitely pretty outfitted with the truck. It definitely gets us where we need to go. We're more of the destination off-roaders as opposed to like the rock crawlers, but uh, definitely a fantastic vehicle. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Enoch, I'm and sure I mean, my I'm partner sure over there is Delia. Uh, we're Mo Leisure like X Ventures, <laughs> and we drive a 2009 <laughs> Nissan Xterra, uh, mildly modified. Uh, come take a peek. All right, so what I did started here is I built a aluminum extrusion style setup. So I've got a nice little bench here, gas struts, all of our storage, clothes, good stuff like that. And then I built a kitchen galley on this side. Inside the kitchen galley, I've got 10 gallons of water right here. Fill up power options throughout the whole kitchen galley. We got a sink, and then we have our induction stove, and then our uh, refrigerator right there. Um, at that point, it, you know, obviously it's all kind of high. You're like, well, how's he going to use it? So I decided to cut a hole in the roof, and that gives us the ability to utilize this space no matter what the weather is like and gives us a nice internal area that we can relax in uh, on our travels. Um, and then the bed is also up there. There's two platforms on gas struts. Uh, let me jump up in there and I'll kind of show you how they work. So, and I'm, I'm 6'4", just to kind of give you an idea and I can uh, fully go up in here. Um, but so, nice little cooking, all that good stuff. Uh, when we're not cooking and hanging out and we're ready for bed, move all this stuff out of the way and this comes straight down and the bed sits right up on top of it. It's all on gas struts so you don't got to work too hard, just push it right back up and then you're good to go. Um, yeah, and this gives us a nice open uh, space to do all our cooking and hanging out if the weather's bad outside. Uh, from that point, we've uh, done a lot of exterior modifications like uh, shocks and paint and all that good stuff. So on the back here, something kind of unique, um, running uh, their prototype uh, leaf pack. Uh, it's, a, it's a common design in Australia, it's called a parabolic leaf pack. And uh, so I've got those running, I've been running them for about 30,000 miles. Let me take a peek down here. You can see they're just it's just two leaves uh, compared to a normal pack where it could be anywhere between six and eight leaves. Uh, super progressive and really nice and smooth. Uh, then I'm running a Kony Raid 90s for all of my shocks all the way around, which are uh, 2.75 inches in diameter shock. So they're really, really heavy duty. Uh, super, super strong. Um, from there, I've done uh, 33 inch tires all the way around uh, Firestone Destination MT2s which have been uh, really really good off-road and then uh, we did uh, aluminum skid plates along the whole entire bottom from S-Sphere uh, 4x4 and that kind of uh, is like a generalized breakdown of the vehicle um, as far as like our lift kit the uh, company that we went through is All Dogs Off-Road if you're a Nissan guy and you're looking for a good kit I would definitely check them out Ah, oh, I think my favorite part of the rig is the fact that I can go inside at any point in time. 
You know, I the we lived outside for two and a half years uh, in different iterations, uh, a utility trailer with kitchen galley and stuff. And then I had a kitchen galley built back here. Uh, and we just got to a point where it, you know, weather extremes are getting to be a little bit much. So we needed that internal space and like creating that internal space really like changed a lot of the way we travel and our comfortability level a lot. So we're, we can, stay out in the wilderness even longer than we did before, which is really, really cool.